Sam is a little bit abusive to me. I just want everybody to oh, know. Oh, I hope you're okay. A little bit of verbally abusive. You're right. Yeah, that is the way it's going. You're right. <sighs> Welcome to quarantine 2020. Welcome to quarantine day 8,500 <laughs> million bajillion. Right. Stop spreading the COVID. Stop it. It's not safe. It's not even funny anymore. Now, now I'm just... mad. And let me tell you why. Tell us. I can't get my hair done. Bad. My nails. Terrible. I don't have gray spray available to me. Awful. This is going to be a situation soon. And let me tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, Sam's gonna color my hair. We're gonna we're gonna do a little veil. Yeah, we it's are. Gonna be great. <laughs> I also desperately need a haircut. Oh so. my god! Yeah, and we're go I'm gonna cut her hair. I found a video of a hairstylist. It's mm -hmm. very popular on YouTube, and I can't remember his name. Oh, it's gonna be great. I can't wait. And he explains how to do it. So I know. I can't wait. The issue I find is that sometimes. My mother here feels it best to take her own creative way. Well, I, I a little nerve-wracking. You know what? We're going to do the um, 90s Jennifer Aniston cut on it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah. Follow the tutorial the whole way. Not the 90s Jennifer Aniston cut. <laughs> no. I, you know what? It's going to be like at the salon where you don't get to look in the mirror until I'm done. Honey, you trust me. No, that's nails. Yeah, sometimes it's hair. I do that's what I want. To go to. Oh. I have idea. I make you look good, honey. You trust me, okay? <laughs> was it one time? Was it you where we got all our old face wax? Oh, God. Okay, so I have like terribly sensitive skin. And I'll tell you right now, my face is like super broken out. Not sure why. It is? Haven't like. I have makeup on, so you can't tell. Oh, but I have good makeup just these... job. I didn't even notice. Thank you. You can't see, but my eyeshadow looks great. Oh, it does. You look like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Always. But I have terribly sensitive skin, and Ugh. this lady at the nails. We when you get your eyebrows done, <laughs> usually while you're doing your nails, they say, "You want eyebrow done? You want eyebrow done? Eyebrow? Need eyebrow." And I'll say, "Oh we'll yeah, yeah, eyebrow. yeah. I look like we'll a werewolf." Eyebrow. Yeah. So <laughs> she does every time. <laughs> and um, <laughs> then then they say, okay, so you want full face? <laughs> it was just that one time. Uh-huh. So my face is very sensitive and I was feeling very pure pressured <laughs> to get, you, you do the full face. Because when they say that to you, you're like, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. Maybe I do have some hair. <gasps> oh. Okay, for those with sensitive Turns skin, out, I urge do you, do not get full face. <laughs> I I was rashy, <laughs> I want to say at least a month. Oh my God, it was, I can't believe we did it. So that's what's coming up. Not that I don't have 850 million things I can share because I do. It's true. As evidenced by our whole today. And this is just a small, just a sampling, minuscule <laughs> portion. You know what? And I will tell you, Samantha, um, and my daughter Madison. They have gotten on me uh, for a good long time about the number of things I have. Mm -hmm. And who's sorry now? Not me. Not YouTube. Not YouTube, because I got all kinds of stuff to share with you. So anyway. Onto the thrifting. Onto the thrifting. Okay, let's get started. Let's shall. What should we start with? I have some neat things. The Red Bull. This? Yep. This beauty? Here it is. Okay, this was... Ooh. I know, isn't this gorgeous? This was part of the estate, estate sale. sale get. That is Carnival Glass. It's Fenton. Look at there, see? Fenton. There she says. Fenton. Believe it. Okay, I'm a little, um, I'm not sure what to call this color. And it's not very, look how gorgeous that is. 
Oh my god. Well, it's good. kind of like look at the color on that. Candy apple. Well, not candy apple. Deeper than it's just like apple red. Well, you know what I called it because I have another. I have another mm -hmm. piece like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's not, I think it's a compote. It's listed, but um, oh, this is uh Carolina dogwood is the pattern on this because cool. I did some research today, friends. And if I look down, it's because I've got some notes right there. <laughs> um, it's not ruby glass. No, it's not ruby. I, but it's not amethyst either. No, it's not. It's more like plum. Yeah, yeah. So there's some stuff that's listed. Again, I will say this again. I don't know if people are making stuff up <laughs> or if it's actual. Now, I think it would be handy. And unfortunately, I think he lives in Florida. But I think it would be handy if George, the antique nomad, would be sitting behind me during these videos <laughs> and Say, he could whisper, no. listen, idiot, That's this is it. what it is. Because I don't know. Because I don't, I mean, I hate to say that it's a certain color simply because other people have said, I mean, is that true? I have no idea. And trust me, I do my research. I, I do all the research. I well, don't, I don't, it's as gorgeous, a, so I love this bowl. As a thrift buyer, I would absolutely buy it if you said it was the color of red delicious apples. It's, it's plum. Look at that, and look at the iridescence. Oh, I know, the back is I beautiful. hope this color comes through, because mm -hmm. it is so fantastic. That's pretty great. Yeah, it is. I, there's another one listed that has a different pattern, but same color. Oh, love it. Oh, uh, I'm going to go, I will list it somewhere between. Between, it's an unusual color, kind of. Um, anywhere between 50 and 75. Yeah, because I don't see carnival glass with this color very often. No. You see a lot of orange, a lot of pink, a yeah, lot of that, blue. There's a lot of marigold, mm -hmm. which is that orangey color you mm -hmm. see. That deep, deep purple, that amethyst, which is super pretty. Mm -hmm. But it's easier you to see find a lot of this. It. You just don't see this very often. Yeah. It's really pretty. I love it. Anyway, that's what that would get listed for. Okay, so here's some more... Murano, and I'm positive that's what this is. Well, it's the, it's the from the same estate sale. Yeah, it is from the same estate sale. I would sale. imagine. So there it was is. that bowl. There's this. You know what? And look, it's got initials on it. V M. I think it's that Vin. Oh wait, maybe I'm not showing it there. Um, what is that? V How do you say that? Vichia. 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 Vichia, V E C C H I A. But it's V M, <laughs> are the initials on it? Uh, it, it, it. So anyway, there's a bowl that matches this. I mm -hmm. think I showed that last and time. I think it was the last video. And then there's I don't I didn't show the decanter and the cordials, but there's also a decanter and cordials. Little glasses. Yeah, little cordials. That um, that also matches. Fifty seventy five. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think it just, here's what I've discovered in my short time listing things, honey. I will list something and think, oh, there's no way in hell somebody's going to pay that. And then they do. They, they pay do. full price. And then I will list something and I end up getting 10, 15 bucks off of it and selling it for the, I just don't know. You never know. It depends on the buyer, really, yeah. honestly. I mean, I, you know, I can run comps all I want, but it, to, it kind of gives you a general idea. But truly, I mean, if you look at solds, something will sell for $100 mm -hmm. and then something will sell for $15 because that person didn't know what they had. Mm hmm so there's people who are willing to pay the hundred, but if they can find it for the fit, trust me, I would. Murano again, same estate still. Look at that. Isn't that funky? Isn't that neat? Look how cool that is. It's just a, I don't know what it is. It's like a bowl. Yeah. Definitely. I know. Not. Remember, I initially thought it was like an ashtray. No, it's not an but ashtray. But it's not an ashtray. It's, it's Murano. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It, it goes for quite a bit, actually. Um... The ones that I, where do I have that listed, Sam? The ones that, oh, here. Huh? The ones that I have, um, that I looked up, I mean, I they're, they're kind of pricey. I don't know if it'll go for that much, but I don't know. I'll probably list it for maybe 50 and see what it does. Maybe cool. a little less. I don't know. It's super neat. 
Well, I mean, if you list it for 50, the worst thing that happens is have somebody... Some, I mean, it's in great condition. It's got really minimal surface scratching on it. Mm -hmm. Very minimal. So, I don't know. We'll see. I don't really... I really don't know what to list that one for. I think this is the last of our Murano... Uh, Collection parade. for today. And this mother... You could kill somebody with this thing. It's so heavy. Look at that. Look at... Oh, God. I wish you could see the glass in this. It is... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Glorious. It is a perfume of Jack. Now these, interestingly, do not really go for that much money. Hmm. I think this is potentially one of the coolest things I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, it's very unique. God, I love this. Yeah, like here, can I take this out? Yeah. You want to do that for me? The glass. Okay, so like, I don't know if you can see this. In the inside. But, so like, oh yeah, the, there's like, like a drop inside of the of, inside of the lid. So like, it's like a yellow bulb of. It's just yeah, cool. It is very cool. I wish it showed up better. But. There are some <clears throat> serious. Uh, you just can't see. It's it got like well. a lot of depth. Oh yeah, yeah. It there some serious artists made these glass pieces. And not just Murano. I mean, there is some, really some serious art glass out there. I am a huge lover. I, however, do not live in an art glass house. No. I wish I did. Yeah. I just don't. I wish I did. That's cool. I don't know. Uh, perfume. Eh, 50, 60, right in there, maybe. We'll see. Um, you can also use it as a weapon. Sure. Like if you're Feel looking that. to I'm sorry. Um, get creative. Where do you think? 50, 50 pounds. I'm this is a solid five. Oh my God, that's heavy. Yeah. It's got some depth that to it. That puppy is... Some weight. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for the Murano stuff. Mm -hmm. Murano, I believe it is. This little nugget is Westmoreland. Wow. And that is Mary Gregory glass. See oh, that's that cute. little design on there? It's hand painted. That little girl oh, with the, the little, little pup. pup. Oh, I got this at, and that is really in really good shape. Mm -hmm. I got this at Salvation Army. Hmm. I remember buying it because somebody had just done a video. I think it might have been uh, Jocelyn mm -hmm. from the Crazy Lamp Lady. Mm -hmm. And she had talked about that, that uh, Mayor Gregory stuff. Oh. And um, I'm like, oh, well. I'll oh, be shoot. a son of a gun. Hey, how about this? So, yeah. Um, didn't go for a huge amount of money right now. I, it just all depends on the mood of the buyer. I'll it's probably list it market. for about 35 um, How about mm -hmm. these glorious birds? Because you know my love of birds. Totally. Look at these cuties. Now, I know you've showed me these. This is part of the estate. Oh, there's, there's yes. This. Look at that. Seeing that tail is orange. It's fen. They're fen. Mm-hmm. I think this is the bird of happiness or some damn thing. What I write? I think it's yeah. Yeah. This is the bird of happiness, and then there's this one, Olfen. This one, I like that orange in it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but and then there's this little girl. So I will. The ones I looked up had were painted. I mean, there's some plain ones like this, but mm -hmm. they're painted. Have hand painting on them. Yeah. So these I will probably list. I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. Oh, 50 bucks maybe for the pair. Yeah. <clears throat> they're about 25, 20, 25 a piece. They're in great shape. They're not chipped or anything. Mm -hmm. They're they go just. I love them. I love birds. Oh, I so wish I lived in a house where I could have art glass. Sorry, you don't. Oh, this is one of my very favorite things of all time. Look at this. Oh, my God. It's a plant mister. Look how neat that is. Isn't that neat? Yes. Look at that. Cute. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's made in Japan. Made in Japan. Oh, Japan. Does that say Lego? Yeah, that was just the name of that pottery. <laughs> the pottery house. Cool. Um, it, so it's hand painted, super duper neat. 
Love it. I'm going to list that bad boy for about 40 bucks because I love it. And I can promise you, if that doesn't sell, I am keeping that. Okay. D, if you're still watching, I may or may not have sent you something very similar to that. A friend, if you will. And if I keep this, we can be twins. Oh. Oh. How about these little cuties? Okay. These two little praying cuties. Living on a prayer, baby. Look at them. They're fenting. They're praying. They're pink. They're cute. Aren't they? What do they go for, Sam? Fenton boy and girl. I'm going to put a list them for about 35 No chips. No cracks. No muss. No fuss. Fenton. Love them. Cute. Uh, these are not worth much, but I do love them. These, I don't know. I don't know the make on these. These are Moonstone. Coin dot? Nope. Hobnail? Not, not coin dot. They're very hobnaily. And they're also Moonstone. See that opalescence? Very right spooky. There? Love it. Cream and sugar? Fenton, maybe? I don't know. I, really I mean, don't based know. on what we know of everything she had, I would say yes. Yeah. She didn't have, I mean, I think at some point maybe Anchor Hawking made these mm -hmm. also. These would definitely have um, the Anchor Hawking mark on them, though, oh, yeah. and they don't. And she had better quality stuff than Anchor Hawking. So, um, <clears throat> well, I want to say Fenton. George, I could use you here. Help. Uh, again, Antique No Bad. If you're not watching that channel... Get over there. There's something wrong with you. Get over there and tell them we, we, we sent you. You tell them we sent you because... I'm going to link I... everybody that we mentioned and make sure you go there and you tell them we sent you. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I watch, really, I watch... There are channels that I watch not only for fun... Well, George is fun too. Not only for fun, but also for knowledge. But then there are channels that I watch that, I mean, George is... He's got a lot of the knowledge. Yeah. He's a The smarty. auction professor is also very, very smart. Hmm. Um, he, he has a lot of, like, uh, paper, postcards. Oh, like, okay. A lot of old, old advertising, that kind of stuff. Old paper goods. And this is, I, in my opinion, worth about $250 million. bees on it. It's got bees, a beehive, some it's that sand glass. You got the sand on the bottom of this, too. Here, mm -hmm. I'm going to hold it up. See if we can no. stop focusing on me. <laughs> hold, show the side. No, the side. Yeah. I'm trying. Be up. Well, hold it like this. Like that. Okay. Okay. See? It's Look bees. It it's beehive. It's very springy. It's um Indiana glass. I know that. Where did it's like, oh, Tierra. Hmm. Tierra. Satin glass. Hmm. Be happy. Then go for match. I don't know. I'll so? probably list it for it's it's like a you know what? It appears to be oh. a bit of a candy dish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a little chip on it. But you know what it also seems like? Maybe like a it seems very powder puffy to me. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Normally like they were circled, dish. but that doesn't mean they never were square. I know. But I think it's a candy dish, but I don't know. I think it would look super cute in a bathroom. Right. I mean, look at also, that green. isn't that fabulous? Just because something is something doesn't mean you have to use oh, this as that. Oh, by God, I heart, rarely do I use it. I mean, for okay, its look intention. right there. The rooster, um, what was co cookie jar? Did you you showed it? Oh yeah yeah yeah. It's being that, used um, as a utensil oh holder. Oh my God, I am completely drawing a blank. It's rooster. Ransburg, mm. that uh, Indiana pottery. Ransburg. Yeah, it's he's my utensil holder right now because he's glorious. And he's perfect. I really, really hope it doesn't sell because it's going to ruin my whole decor. I'm going to have to, I don't know, order something. Throw anyway. everything off. So I have tons and tons and tons of uh, Auburn rubber animals. And... I need to get them listed because they hang out in my office. So there's a couple of draft horses. These are Auburn, made by Auburn. They're rubber. They're old. There's Moo. Cow. 
got a horse here. There are one, two, three, four, five pigs. I'm bees. No pigs. And they're those cool black and white pigs. I forget what they're called. You'd think we live in Iowa. I should know that. We then live in Des Moines. It's a little baby pig. And there's two pups. They look like uh, oh. they look like those you know those herding dogs, shepherds, mm -hmm. Australian shepherds, whatever they're called. And a sheep, cattle dogs. Yeah, maybe. And a baby cow. Oh, oh, come on. And a little baby horsey. Looks like a draft horse. Look at its tail. I think it is a draft horse. And did we show this one? A little yeah, baby I held cow. Those up. Oh, and a turkey. And turkey. Gobble, gobble. So these are super fun. I love these. If I could keep every single thing that I bought, I would. But I can't. You can't. These might be good. Oh, and I'm going to list them. Damn it. Just do it. Just do it. I'll probably list the whole lot for 50 55 bucks. They're pretty cool. I don't know if there's a big market for them right now, but if they don't sell, then you get to keep them. I can do great things with them. <laughs> Summers are coming, friends. Yeah, it is, girl. Boy, tis the time for farm animals. Right? Yeah. Isn't that what they say? That's what, they, that's what I always have Summer said. Summer equals farm animals. That's right. All 29 years of my life, I've said it. <laughs> no one's listening. <laughs> Talk about being able to kill somebody. Okay, so... T.G. Green Church, what does that say? Gresley, made in England. I can barely see. I know. <laughs> Check this <coughs> domed cheese contraption Cheese. Out. Cheese, it says. Cheese. That's what it says. Cheese. It's heavy. It's got to be Ironstone. It's got some fantastic crazing on it. I wish we were people that just ate cheese off the wheel. Oh, I wish we were wheel cheese people. You ate the whole wheel of cheese? How'd you do that? It's actually, I'm not even mad. That's amazing. <laughs> or fancy could, cheese people. Maybe we could make that a, like a COVID, you know, uh, resolution. To eat more eat wheel, wheel cheese? cheese people. Okay. And electricians. <laughs> We're going to remodel the kitchen. So, this is super cool. I agree. Now, once again, with the comps. Um, some people have it listed as mid-century modern. Some people have it listed as in the being made in the 70s. Those are different. That's the things. 70s is not mid-century. Mm -mm. So one of you is lying. That would be the 50s. Exclusively. Someone's lying to you. <sighs> See, you got to be careful when you're listing, not only when you're listing things, but when you're buying things. Because just because someone says it's a thing does not mean it's the thing that no. they're saying. No. You do have to be careful. And when you start... Early on, I I have made this mistake. I go back through listings. I'm like, oh, dear God. Eee, eee, I need to change that. Yeah. So I will try to, I really don't know what the list is for. I don't have a clue. So I need to actually um, go to the company website. Okay. See if I can. And uh, come up with a price. Right. It's neat, though. And it's heavy. Another item with which you could kill somebody. So if, if if we get to end days, let me just tell you, folks, you're going to want to uh, buy this from mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and and the perfume bottle. This. Mm -hmm. These are going to be two useful items. You are help. When you hold things like that, you make me very nervous. I'm strong. I am <sighs> strong. But you have a weak shoulder. No. I have a strong core. Oh. <laughs> that changes everything. <laughs> I'm known for my strong core. It's not true. Okay. Moving on. Okay. There's an owl. Hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! It's an owl. Oh, I paid $1.97 for it. Yeah, you did. Tis an owl. 
Oh, this little guy was made in Mexico. 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 Isn't that cute? Somebody will want that. It's cute. People like owls. I would think at this point people, it's kind of stained glassy. Hmm. Oh. Stained glassy. It's cute. Well, that's kind of Super my first cute. impression. Um. Owls are still kind of a thing. Everybody loves a good owl. So, yeah, look cute in the kitchen window with one of those suction cup things or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'll probably list it for, I don't know, 15 bucks maybe, if that. We'll see. Sure. We'll see if I'm feeling generous. Gosh, it's kind of the farmyard theme. Today, I know, you kind of picked it? out a farm theme. Gosh. Way to go. Isn't that cute? Trinity Pottery out of Wisconsin. Spooner, Wisconsin. Look at that. It's got the alphabet, in case you forget. Just to keep you, you on know your what? toes. And that's helpful. Oh, and numbers, just in case. Oh, good. Um, I am somebody who has to do like elemental P, <laughs> like that. You know, <laughs> J-K-L, you know. Mm -hmm. Like when you're alphabetizing mm -hmm. something. That's cute, though, isn't it? It is very cute. It's not worth very much. I like that the cow's very alert. It's sort of farmhousey, sort of, you know, look cute in a farmhouse. Yeah. Farmhouse stuff, decor. I don't know when it's from. I don't know when this was made. It looks very 80s to me. Doesn't right. that look 80s yeah. to you? Yeah, very, like. Handcrafted in the USA. Late. You're darn right it is. Mid to late 80s is what it looks like to How me. About that? Yeah, mid to late 80s. Maybe 90s. Mm -hmm. I don't really know, honestly. Uh... I think we'll list her for maybe fifteen dollars for that. That's an advertising thermometer. Oh, cute! Isn't that cute? Mm. Got that at the auction. I that like neat? that. It's old, 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 old glass. Old, old, old advertising. Look at the back. It's cool. For Saint Joe Battery Service. Saint Saint Joe Battery Service. Here was the phone number six dash one one one. 7th and Charles, St. Joseph, Missouri. Just in case you wanted to stop by. It's got that cool foil. Oh, yeah, it's a cool piece. I love it. I got it at the auction. Did I say that? Yeah, uh, maybe. Maybe no. 18 times? I got it at the auction. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what it's worth. I didn't take the time to look it up. I don't know. We'll see. Probably about $3,000. Hmm. Oh, here's kind of a mystery piece. Sort of that we don't really know. I love a good mystery. Oh, who doesn't? Dun dun dun. We just sat. We had to wait to record this or video this. I am a really good singer, by the way. I don't. I'm know taking requests, so I'll try to put it in here. I don't think what we're singing is. We had to wait to start videoing while my husband watched the end of the movie on Netflix because clearly he couldn't stop the movie and then start again. Because mm -hmm. this is 1978 where we can't do that. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's my sweetheart. I do love him, but oh dear God. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's hand carved. It's hand carved by somebody. In some other country, we don't know where. Yeah, not sure. Is that maybe kind of Mexico? Because look, that looks like a sombrero. Where but, are you seeing a sombrero? Right there next to Oh, him. right here. Right, yeah. But he looks cold, doesn't he? He does look oh. cold. He's mm. chilly. But I think when I was looking at that, looks like I the saw Andes Mountains. Well, there's mountains in Mexico. Oh, all right. What's this thing? Something that, for that water. That looks like a yucca. Is that right? Are you just or making that works now? <laughs> <laughs> is that an owl plant or yucca? I am kind of making things up. Look at his little toes. I mean, it's really well done. It is cool. It's all hand carved out of one singular, I think. Yeah, out of one yeah, piece of wood. Yeah, it looks like one neat. piece of wood. There's nothing conjoined in there. That's neat. I like it. Maybe around 30. Mm hmm. I'll see maybe more but he looks cool he's making me uncomfortable he's making me want to help him 
What is this? Is that a branch? It might be the log he's sitting on. Why is it coming out of his back? Oh, he might be leaning on it. Perhaps. I bet he's leaning on it. You know what? What are we to say? We're not the artists. There's these things, and they were really popular, it seemed like, back in the 90s, 80s, 90s, mm -hmm. when I was out buying everything I could at antique stores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's called tramp art. And they would car they're carved wood, but they're they're like boxes. <clears throat> would you find a picture of tramp art and insert it? Sure. In the video. Oh, they're so cool. No, this is not tramp art, but I'm not saying that. I got a little segue. All right. It's late in the Rona, okay? <laughs> These little cuties little bad dads i'm gonna ask you if you know what these are look you know what it looks like the original price tags are on these now not original to the year that they were made right original mm -hmm. to where you could buy them prior to somebody probably bought these I, I anyway do you have any idea what these are okay this one is missing the the chain Okay. Look at that. My glasses hand painted. The picture underneath is not hand painted, but see the gold around it is hand painted. This yes. is also filthy. Well, they're supposed to be wall hangings. Okay, see now here I need to attach the um somehow or somebody can, whoever buys it. Yeah, I would just let see, them do there's it. There's a little chain. See there? Mm-hmm. Look at that. What is that? A boy and a girl? Yeah. Some kind, or is there a fight? No, I think they're oh, just it's two girls at the well and some boy just in, a, in a blue suit. Mm -hmm. What'd you guys have for dinner today? Yeah. Oh, gruel again? Oh, Me too. We're having. Oh, that one's got a crack in the or a chip in the glass. My mom made us made eat bran muffins again. Oh, we're having casserole tonight. Is what the girl in that? Oh my god, you're saying. so lucky. Because there was a lot of casserole back then. <laughs> You know, like oh, these are made in Germany. Germanland. Look at there. There's a little embossment right there. I imagine these are too. I don't know. Perhaps I should start looking at things a little more closely. Mm. I don't know. It's mm. up to you. Nah, that's a personal judgment. And uh, yeah, this so, and this mm. one. This uh, that looks like a tangerine to me. Two tangerines. See there. And some now, nuts. Don't cheat and look. The frames are cool. What do you think these were for? Don't look at the list. Okay. Oh, I would say they're wall hangings. No, they're flu covers on a flu fireplace. Covers. Hmm. Fireplace. They're flu covers. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is what people used to hang over the flu. And they oh. are delightful Cute. vintage art to hang. Love it. And mm -hmm. or display. Or hang over your flu. Or use, use them the for the purpose they're intended and hang them over your flu. I'm not sure how that would work. I don't either. But because the flu in our chimney is like up in the chimney. Well and you open and close the flu with the little handle thing. Well, there's like a hook. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know anything. That would about be dangerous. The construction of fireplaces, okay? Or Don't electricity, which we're apparently about to delve into. Oh, my God. It's going to be exciting. You know what? We could video that. Mm, I hope we do. We could video the... Because uh, you know what goes really well? You and I working together on a series <laughs> project. I get a little boss. Nope. Look at these cuties. Look at these. Uh, these are... Look at those. They're like little, lusterware. Lusterware. Japanese cream and sugar. Now, Fair here's the fun thing about this set. Tell us. These are Art Deco, for sure. Look at the lines on that. That is so Art Deco. Anywho, here's a little note on the inside, and I didn't even know it was there. Oh. My shower in 38, so these were given to whoever in 1938, from my Aunt Dorothy Van Rees, mom's brother's wife. Oh. Isn't that neat? 
1938, this little set. Aren't those neat? I love them. There, there we go. You know what, too? I think these might have had like a little tray that they sat on. I'm sure they did. I wish I had the tray. Anyhow, they're pretty fabulous. They're made in the fair country of Japan. This is Feltman Langer. Oh. Feltman Langer. That's very unique. That is a Feltman Langer teapot. I don't know that I've ever seen a teapot that shape. Nope, you haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't, you dumb. <laughs> Feltman Langer. This is that, um, it's sort of, it reminds me a lot of Fiesta wear. Yes. It's, it's unusual. You can find Fiesta wear pretty much everywhere. Well, there's new Fiesta wear and there's old Fiesta wear, original Fiesta wear. Mm -hmm. And this is that good Fiesta wear color. I don't know what color that was. It's like some weird, it's like reddish, mu muted brick red. Yeah, it's a great color. It's a great teapot. It is, I think, fairly collectible, fairly cool. rare. Not rare, scarce, sorry. Um, rare would indicate, as I learned from George, Rare would indicate that they only made a few of them. Okay. Scarce is indicative find. that they're hard to find. Got it. So yes. This is scarce. I think also this color might be a little bit scarce. So I will probably list this one up there. And weirdly, I got this at, um, I'm trying to figure out where I put it there. I'll probably list this for about a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. I got this at the flea market for like five dollars. Wow. And usually the people at the flea market know what they have. Yeah, I mean, they're they usually pretty good about it. Most all of them don't uh, list things too high, but mm. um, but they know what they, they have generally they know what they have. It. I mean, they have stuff there to sell it. It's right. you know they don't want to price themselves out of the market. But look at those. Look at those. Have you ever? Those are pretty. Look at the moriage on those. And there's like texture on it. Oh my god, are these gorgeous? I absolutely love those. Those are pretty fancy. This cream and sugar set. Love it. Yep. What are they? A little bit of mix of luster wear with a little moriage with a little gilding. Sure. Pink. Oh my god, does it get better? A little here, a little there. Girl. Japan. Um, I have no idea. Please, I'm begging you, if anybody, I have looked exhaustively. Does anybody know that mark? George, what is that mark? Is it Nippon? Is it, I have no idea. They're, they're beautiful though. I love them. Don't you love those? I do love them. Quite a bit. I might be able to incorporate those somewhere, couldn't I? So, this, I have talked about this. Okay, now look at this pattern closely. See that pattern? These are Tiffin. I've said it before. It's stemware. That, and then they made all kinds of things. But uh, these, I believe, are probably champagne glasses. Okay. But this pattern, mm. look for this. And I will tell you why. I bought um, 10, like 10 wine glasses or water goblets or whatever the hell you want to call them. And... I, I only have three champagnes, mm -hmm. but the 10 I bought for a buck a piece and they sold for $200. Yeah, you got a good profit on those. Yeah, I bought them for 10 bucks and I sold them for 200. So it, seriously, people look for this and they were, they're in really, I got them at Goodwill for God's sake. Hmm. You know what? And here's the thing. I don't think people's inclination is to not look for stemware and stuff yeah because i don't i don't understand that i don't like to ship it what do you mean you don't like to ship it wrap it up and ship it right just like anything else i i don't understand that but anyway look for this pattern hmm. tiffin i think minton maybe okay and this is like i don't know no it's not grape leaf minton and okay tiffin look for that <clears throat> Okay, I'll call it good. There's other things I'll show them next time. All right, well. Because Sam is mean to me. And Sam thinks these videos should be about three minutes. Where I think if I want to talk for two hours, I can. Better learn how to edit the videos then. You better learn to shut up. Oh, that's I have all the editing power, my friend. Mm. Remember that.
all your ugliest I, faces. You know what I have? I can have? go like this. You know what I have? I have all the mother power. What are you gonna do? Crown me? Yes. That's my dream. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna put out some more. We're, we know you're bored. We know you're bored at home. We'll try to entertain you. We're bored at home too. So I'm not all that bored. I have things mm. to do. Right. I mean, while you were setting this up, while we were waiting for da -da 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 to be over, <laughs> uh, I cleaned the bathroom mirror. The I cleaned the bathroom faucet. Yeah, I, I will say the back I'm, door. I'm having I'm, a lot of time to get things done. Having a lot more time yeah. to focus on my children who are, we're not carting around to a million different places all right. the time. Yeah, you definitely won't hear me complaining about the quarantine. I do not mm -hmm. mind it. No, I think it's, um, you know, as awful as it really is, I think it's good in a lot of ways. Yeah, there's a lot of sad that's coming with it, but. Oh, it's, I. Individually, I'm finding it great. I just, and I remember saying this to you early on, I I truly think this is Mother Earth's way. I She just has had enough of this nonsense of the demolishing of the environment. Yep. I mean, look how much, just in a few short weeks, they're seeing huge changes in pollution numbers yep. and... You know, maybe Mother Earth is like, you know what? Sick of this. You hey, people, you. You need to spend a little more time with your family. How's that sound? How about family dinner every night? Yeah. How's that sound? Let me heal while I punish you. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, don't I know it. A kid, a guy I went to high school with just died. Mm. Oh, I, I'm shocked by that. I don't even know what to say to that. Yeah. I don't, it's stunning. It brings, yeah. Just remember, folks. When you're feeling upset and you're feeling like you are stuck in your house, if you are healthy, you are safe in your house. Yes, you're safe and in your house. You, this very easily could happen to you, someone who has zero health problems, and it very easily could happen. This is not meant to scare anyone, but it is no. reality. But it seems to be, as it progresses... Um, and I can promise you with every fiber of my being, we are not health professionals here. No. Uh, but it seems to be evolving into, um, it, it can affect just about anybody. Yeah. Where initially it was just, you know, they yeah. had the elderly mm -hmm. and um, immunosuppressed yeah. and th those sort of things. But mm -hmm. I, I, it's I anybody. mean, it's perfectly healthy people are getting this and frankly not doing well. Nope. Which is part of the reason why I decided... Yeah, I gotta cut this job off for a bit. Yeah. I gotta lay low for a few for a few weeks till this straightens out. Because, frankly, I my kids would be super mad at me if I died. First of all, there's so much stuff <laughs> in this house that I swear <laughs> I've told her many times. I swear to God, uh. if you die before this is all sorted, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. I'll kill you dead. I'll find I, you. I I'll bring you back. I really do. I mean, not only do I have a lot of stuff that I have thrifted, I just have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not even just the thrifted stuff. I mean, there is like an entire pottery or Pure One warehouse in my basement. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. So we're not ready yet. But my point is... I'm healthy. I'm okay. Spend less of your time being upset that you're stuck. Yeah. Spend more Gosh, of your time do, finding um, things to be. You happy know what about. else we're going to do? I forgot to say, because you don't know about this yet. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> I have found some super cute things on Pinterest that we are going to uh, make. Great. I will provide all of the materials. Uh, awesome. I know you would because I would buy the wrong ones. Well, it's. We're just going to. Uh, I can't wait. Very crafty. I can't wait. Okay. We're going to have a little lesson. Super. It's going to be fun. I love, when, I love when you have time. When it's lesson time. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Lesson Sarah. Really, Lesson mom is really the best mom. Yeah. Or lecture mom. Lecture mom. Also mom's the, a lot of fun. Yeah. Lecture mm -hmm. mom's the, the... Okay. So here's what happens. <laughs> is... <clears throat> You know, you're upset about something someone else has done. Uh -huh. 
and then you lecture me on it as if I'm that person. I know I do. And I, I just totally have to sit there. Yes, I have I to agree. sit there and say, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Huh. <laughs> wow. True. Oof. That's true. Well, so what'd you have for dinner? <laughs> and then I just go on and on. Yeah. Just, just like I didn't even hear you. Oh, hey, here's the kids. Hey. <laughs> Say hi to Grandma loudly. Look, Lucy's on. Here's Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> she does. I know exactly what she's doing, and I just continue to talk. The good news is, is they will always interject themselves, so. I continue on with my rage. It's really the only way to shut me up is to interject the kids. Yep. Yeah. You know. Well, with that, uh, we need you to like, subscribe, comment. Do it. Um, I mean it. Do every other thing that you're supposed to do. All right, seriously, we gotta go. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.